We thank you, Lord Father, for your grace and your mercy, yes, your long-suffering, O oh God, and your loving kindness, O oh God. We ask, Lord, that you touch, touch our hearts. Let us feel your presence, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord Father. You said, God, you never leave us nor forsake us, O oh God, during this time, O oh God, of COVID-19, during this time of protest, O oh God, and rioting, O oh God. And, O oh God, we ask, Lord, that you continue to speak a word of peace, O oh God, to the troubled hearts and the troubled minds. We give you praise. We give you glory, give you honor, Lord. In Jesus' name, somebody say amen. 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 You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. We say praise the Lord tonight. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise we thank God for his grace and his mercy. We have been in the book of Galatians. Amen. Here at Praise Temple, I believe we're on part 10, part <laughs> eight. Eight. 8. Amen. And we are in, we're in chapter 3 of the book of Galatians all this year. If God says so, we are studying Paul's. Uh, epistles, amen? Amen. Amen, and we are going straight through the book of, uh, we've finished Philippians, and now we're in Galatians chapter 3, and I'm going to get right into what we were talking about last week, amen? Uh, the key verse for the, for, the, for the book is Galatians 5 and 1, stand fast therefore in the liberty wherewith Christ has made us free, and not be entangled again with the yokes of bondage. Can we say amen? Amen. God wants you to be free, amen, and stay free. Amen. Amen. The, uh, here in the churches of Galatia, remember the churches that he wrote to the book of Galatia was not one church. Is that flower in the way? Amen. Other screen. Praise God. It was not one church, but it was a community of churches Amen. in the area of Galatia. Amen. That Paul was writing to. Amen. Amen. And they were uh, one of the issues, the primary issues that Paul was dealing with was that different people were coming into the church and they wanted them to go back and take the law of, Mo of Moses as Judaizers. Amen. Before they can receive the saving grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So Paul was dealing with that at the churches. All right. And then also he proclaims liberty. Amen. Reality of being free. Amen. From the law and the power of sin and freedom to serve the living God. Amen. Amen. All right. So we're going to pick up in chapter three. I'm going to pick up right where we were last week. Last week we were right here in 10 through 12. Amen. And in verse 11, we are down here. It says, but no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. And that key word there is what? Justified. Amen. Amen. And it is evident for just shall live by faith. So he's talking about that. We will never be satisfied. God will never be satisfied with us. Amen. Uh, in, in a part of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Jesus said, I am what? The way, the, way, the, the truth, truth, and the life. Amen. No man can come unto the Father except our but by me. So God, when he looks at us, we cannot be accepted him because we are what? Born in sin and shaped in iniquity. Amen. But when we take on the Lord Jesus Christ as our personal Savior, when we go down in the name of Jesus through water baptism and receive the precious gift of the Holy Ghost and we continue in, in, in process of living a holy, sanctified life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Baptism in Jesus' name and being full of the Holy Ghost is what we determine to be what? Salvation. But Amen. God also wants you to live what? A clean, a clean holy, Amen. productive life. Can we say amen? amen? Praise God. And we're going to talk about that when we get to the book of Galatians or Paul in chapter 5 when Paul starts talking about comparing the works of the, the flesh and the fruits of the spirit. Amen? Amen. 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 Remember Paul's? All of Paul's writings are written to who? Church. church. They're written to the church. Paul is writing all the epistles that he writes, he's writing to, to born again believers. And this, sometimes you read some of that stuff that Paul had to write. He said, Are you sure they're born again? <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. Amen. But today is no different because born again people are something to be doing a whole lot of stuff. Amen. So praise God. That's why we need the Word of God, amen, to do what? Help us stay on the narrow way. Amen. Jesus said, What? Broad is the way that leads to destruction. Amen. Amen. But narrow is the way that leads to what? To life, to life everlasting. There are a thousand ways you can die and go to hell. Mm -hmm. But there's only one way to get to God. Come on, now. Amen? Amen. So, so all these different ways you can, you can lose your life. Amen. And Jesus said, if any man seeks to save his life, he's going to lose it. If any man wants to try to lose his life, by me he will save his life. Amen? So here we see that it's evident that the just shall live by your faith. Church, you got to live Amen. by your faith. Amen. Amen. And it says, and the, law of, and the law is not of faith, 
But the man that doeth it shall live there. And he's letting know that the law, the law, praise God, was us to show that we that we could not please God without a Savior. Amen. 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 All right, we'll keep on moving. Praise the Lord. And we talked about this very quickly. Deuteronomy twenty-seven: Cursed be he that that confirmeth not all the words of the law and do them. He says, "Cursed he that confirmeth not what? Not not right. all the law, not all of them." That's right. So you know you got to do all the whole law and be guilty of one. Guess what? You're guilty of the whole law, Thanks. and therefore you're not you're not acceptable and pleasing in God's eye. Amen. Amen. We talked about that. Then James talks about how do I know? Praise God if I have faith. James let us know. Praise God. Uh, and I said last week, and I got a few comments back on this, and I want to address it real quick. Uh, I said last week that I've never experienced anybody who just walked down the street and got the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Somebody had to let them know about the gospel. Amen. Amen. And once they receive the gospel, then a spontaneous change could possibly occur. I've seen that. Amen. Where a person who's never heard the gospel hears the gospel, receives the gospel, and they're changed. Amen. And then there's other ones who sit in church and you get preached the gospel 30 years and you're still doing the same thing. Amen. That's why I'm so glad that God is a personal Savior. Yes. Because he knows, he knows how to save people. Amen. Amen. Praise God. But James was letting us know that we got to have faith, then works. Mm -hmm. And the Bible declares that where does my faith come from? Faith comes by what? Hearing. Hearing, Hearing by what? The word, of God. the word of God. How can they hear without a preacher? preacher? How can he preach unless he be sent? Amen. How beautiful are the feet that them that preach what? The gospel of peace. Praise God. So God's let us know that's the process. Someone has to go and tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Amen. And, they, and, and, and when they hear the word, they develop faith. Amen. Once they develop faith, then they put some what? Works. Some acts or works with their faith. And that's what James was talking about here. Amen. Praise God. He said, and James all right here said, and we talked about this last week, if you have respect to persons, you do what? You commit sin. I think that's very clear. Amen. Is that clear? Amen. I said, is that clear? Amen. I didn't write it, but it's in the Bible. Go ahead and look in your Bible. It's in there. Amen. And 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 are convinced of the law as transgressors. All right? For who here it is again, for whosoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point, he is guilty of what? The whole thing. Amen. And then James goes on and says, What profit, my brother, that a man say he has faith and have not works? He says, Can faith save him? He's asking a question. Even so, faith, then he gives us what? An answer. An answer. Even so, faith, if it has not works, is what? Dead. Dead, being alone. And I shared last week, if you believe God, if you want the Holy Ghost, are you seeking the Holy Ghost? It is a gift. But even with a gift, you got to do what with the gift? Receive it. you got to receive it by what? By faith. Praise God. You still got to receive it. You know, people, God has the Holy Ghost. Amen. And what is God's desire? That no man, what, die and what, perish, mm -hmm. but they all come to what, repentance. If that's the case, what happens is that the one, the key factors in order for someone to receive the Holy Ghost, they got to repent. Amen. You got to tell God what? God, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everybody say it right now. God, I'm sorry. God, I'm sorry. See, that wasn't that hard, was it? No, sir. God, I'm sorry. Lord, I, forgive me, Lord. Call every man once. It is not God's desire. That it is, it, Jesus said, said he came to seek and save all them. That are lost. That's what Jesus' mission was. Praise God. He wasn't here, amen, that you can get the favor of God, amen, and that you can uh, pray and that, praise God, God just opens up heaven's windows and you just get a whole bunch of money. That's not what Jesus came amen. for. Amen. Jesus didn't come, praise God, for you to, 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 to go from, uh, watch this, I'm going to get in trouble with God, I got to fill in my spirit, <laughs> to go from, from brother to minister, come on. to elder, come on. to district elder, come on. to suffering bishop, <laughs> to bishop. He didn't give me for that. Amen. He came and seek and save those that were lost. lost. Order is in the church. That's we right. find that, right? That's right? But guess what? Those things should not be primary. That's right. Those things have to be secondary, yeah. praise God, because when someone needs to be saved, guess what? It doesn't matter if I'm a brother or a bishop. Guess what? I need to be able to share the love of God with Amen. them. Amen. Amen. I should be able to share the love of God with them and say, hey, hey, look. And he says, uh, what, what must I do to be saved? Praise God. And that's what we want to do. We can't get stuck on things because this world will get us messed up, church. Amen. 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 I'm talking about not just the world world, but the world, the church. Church don't will get us messed up, too. Amen. If we don't let the word of God continue to what? Penetrate and renew our minds. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. He says, that, so in verse 18, yea, a man may say that I have faith and I have works. 
He says, I'll show, show me thy faith without thy works, and I will show thee my faith by my works. So, okay, so this is the timeline. You have preaching, right? The word. From preaching the word, faith comes. Amen. Once faith comes, praise God, then works are manifested. All right? There is a process in which you work. work. It, 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 it happens. Believe in the gospel. Receiving the faith. Receiving the word. Faith comes by hearing about the word of God. And then what I heard, I act upon. Amen. And that is what causes me, praise God, to validate what I believe in. My, my works. But, but my works, being them by themselves, no. cannot what? Save me. No, sir. Just because I fed, I, I, I fed the poor soup for 30 years... Come on. At the mission, praise God, and I was a good person, doesn't mean, praise God, amen, that amen. I, I'm going to be saved. Amen. I got to hear the gospel. I got to receive the gospel. Come on. I got to let the Holy Ghost get down. I, I got to receive God by faith. Yeah. And then the works come. That's Too many right. times people just want the works. And then when they stand before God, God, they say, Lord, did I not visit you when you were sick? Come on. Lord, did I not, praise God, uh, uh, clothe you when you're naked? He's going to say, depart from me, ye worker what? Iniquity. Why would he say iniquity? He would say iniquity because iniquity is where? On the heart. The heart was never what? Mm. Converted. That's right. But you were doing what? Good works. Good works. Good work. And a lot of people out here who are doing great works. Uh -huh. But their heart has never been what? Converted. Come on. Amen? And when you, when, 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 when you pulled up those works without Jesus... Before God, the Bible says that everything that the, 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 the cares of this world, everything in this world is going to do what? Away. Pass away. Yeah. Only what you do for Christ yeah. is what? Only thing what you do through Christ is going to last. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, this is the, and this is what God, and so, so, so one of the great theological issues in the church today, amen, keep, this keeps coming up. I, 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 I've done great things, I, 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 but, but, but I can't get in. I can't get in Bible class because I'm working in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Come uh oh, on. Yeah. I can't. I, 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 I can't get in Sunday morning service because I'm the one always cooking the chicken. Hey, Jesus, Amen, warned us about that. Mm -hmm. Remember when Lazarus died, mm -hmm. and he dealt with Lazarus' two sisters, and one of them came out and met Jesus, uh -huh. and another was another was busy in the house, That's right. busy. and Jesus had to let him know, hey. That the one that came and saw him desired what? The better part? Mm -hmm. We got to be careful, church. Not saying those ministries are not important. Not saying we need some sisters and brothers cooking the chicken. Come on, somebody. Amen. We need somebody counting, but guess what? Don't let, do not base, if Jesus cracks the sky, you're not going to tell Jesus how many chicken dinners you cook. Amen. Amen. Come on. You got to let him know, I, Lord, you are still my first love. That's right. Lord, I, even though I'm doing this, but guess what? And what happens is you can feel a pull on your spirit when you haven't been nourishing it correctly when it comes to God. Come on. And at that point, you got to say, you know what? I got I got to get back. You know, y'all, I didn't cook chicken for the last 10 Sundays. Guess what? I'm going to let y'all have it. Because I got to get in the house of God and get some word. Amen? Amen. Because that's my first love. Amen? Yeah, I saw a hand. Yes, sir. Yeah, Pastor. I want to ask you. So what you're saying is anybody could, could walk down the street and just stomach, come in and start cooking chicken. But if their heart is not in it, they're, they're not making it happen. If, if their heart hasn't been converted, to say, to, if they have not received Jesus Christ, uh -huh. because they even just cook chicken all day long. Yeah, it's cook chicken. I'm cooking for the poor. I'm doing great things. Praise God. But guess what? There's no salvation in that. You might as well be following after, after the law. Amen. But Jesus says what? You got to what? Receive ye what? The Lord Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. He said, if you have not my spirit, you're what? None of his. You're none of mine. Praise yeah. God. And you know what? We as the apostolic church sometimes have, have skewed over that, amen, to a point where we want people, and we want nobody who don't have the Holy Ghost working in the church. Amen. Praise the Lord. That's oh, okay. I don't know. I think my mic hacked enough tonight. How about that? That's all right. Can you hear me? I'm going to need oh, no. Praise him. I'm going to need some batteries. But, 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 praise him. It's all right. See, what happens when you start talking good? See, this, this stuff start acting up. <laughs> but uh, praise him. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Praise him. Praise him. All right, Dave. I'm going to use this one until we do something better. Amen. Praise God. So so we have to know, church, in regards to what I do for God, my relationship with the Lord has to stay intact. 
That's me what? Serving him, loving him first. Hallelujah. Receiving him as my Savior. Confessing him as my Savior. Yes, D, go ahead. I saw you. Yes, Pastor, I, I, you know, I just listened to what you said, but, you know, by just working, it's not going to get you in. You know, before I got saved, that I thought that that's what it was. You know, right. That, you know, I, I'm not a America's most wanted. I don't get in trouble. And I and then when I started reading the Bible, and I always think about it when I, we're doing things around the church, because I hear some people always say, like you said, I'm too busy. And I don't want to be the one that said that I'm too busy to do things for the house of the Lord. Right. You know, uh, the, 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 everything else is priority. God is second. I'm right. Gonna, if God is first, and then second. I'm going to ask you, that's good. I'm going to tell you something. Watch this. I'm going to show you, you tonight. Is that all right? Amen. Because the Bible is supposed to show us us, right? Mm -hmm. Why is it? Have some questions. Okay. Someone say, why is it? Why, why is, is it? Why is it that you always late for church but all time to work? Amen. We Amen. talked about that, man. We, we talked about, about that, that don't we? <laughs> you always at work and have The priority is work. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Why is that? you got to ask yourself that question. Someone say, why is it? Why is that? Why, Why is, it? is it that you can pay all the taxes, all the dues, everything that Uncle Sam does, but you have a hard time giving God his 10%? Mm -hmm. Well. Ooh. Someone say praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. It's all right. Amen. But, 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 okay, so when you're paying the, paying the government, government take theirs. That's right. You, you ain't got no say so in that. We just set up like that. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I know churches that are like that. Amen. When you get your pay stuff, uh -huh. They, you got federal, state, local, church. Church. social security, and name your church. If you want us to do that, we can do that. But why? Giving should be what? From your heart. Not demanding, but something that comes where? From, from your heart. heart. From your heart. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Praise the Lord. We have to ask Jeff, we have to ask ourselves these hard questions. Amen? And, and there's nothing wrong, watch this. There's nothing wrong, praise God, if you are, if you're falling short. You know why there's nothing wrong with you falling short? Because there's time for you to get it right. Amen. Amen. Remember, Jesus said, how many virgins were there? There was ten virgins, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. There was, what, five wise? And five five, five foolish. foolish, right? Five foolish. The, the five wise ones had what? They had prepared for the bridegroom. Mm -hmm. And they had already trimmed their lamps. The other ones were what? They had a what? They were not ready, and they had to go what? And go get prepared. Right. And when they had to go, and they were they were where? Where were they at? Somebody tell me where they were at. They were where? They were in the marketplace. Amen. Shopping. Shopping. That's right. Lose it. Lord have mercy. Amen. And while they were out there distracted, trying to get ready, the other ones were already ready. Praise the God. And the bridegroom came. Mm -hmm. And when they tried to come back, he would not let them in. That's right. Praise Dude. the Lord. Dude. We have to we have to ask ourselves these hard questions, and, and and this all boils down to what do I put as priority in my life? Right. Uh uh. That's Amen. what I have to ask. My, I have to ask myself those questions Amen. because when we talk about faith without works, your priorities will show up. Mm -hmm. And what has happened during this COVID nineteen uh -uh. and during these protests is we found out that certain people's priorities are coming to the top. Amen. Amen. And you have to ask yourself, praise God, or or are my priorities lining up? With the word of God. Amen. Amen. And if the answer is yes, congratulations. Amen. But if the answer is no, make a, make, a, make a correction. Amen. And that's, what, and that's what grace does. Amen. See, that's the difference between grace and the law. Grace allows for correction. Amen. 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 There is no corrections under the law. If you just messed up, Amen. you just messed up. That's it. Praise the Lord. But under grace, God gives you the opportunity to do what? To go back and do what? Get it right. Get it right. Amen? Amen? And that's why I'm so glad I'm living in grace today. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And, and watch this. God does not, uh, God is so great that he doesn't really count how many times it takes you to get it right. He just wants you to get it right. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. I don't know how God does that, but you know, he, that's why his ways are above our ways and his thoughts are above our thoughts. But I just wanted to share that with you because you got to ask yourself, amen, where my priorities are when it comes to the, to, 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 uh, to uh, uh, my works. Amen. Praise God. And, and you know what? And you know, I'm, I'm going to say, I used to be one that was late for church. Mm -hmm. we all probably were. I was late for church. I come in church, man. Praise the Lord. Ain't nobody going to, but, but, and you know, well, they ain't going to get started anyway until. Come on. Come on, somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. They don't do this. But guess what? 
I put it in my mind that no matter who's here, we starting on time. Amen. Uh -uh. Amen. Praise the Lord. We starting on time. Praise God. And if we and if I and I'm gonna do my best to stick to that that 35 minutes tonight. Praise God. Because what happens is is that time is one thing that you can never get back. Amen. Amen. Because we are limited. We have a limited amount of time. Guess what? We have to learn how to what? Uh, uh, num the Bible says do what? Number mm -hmm. our days. Is that what it says? Definitely. We gotta, amen, count up the cost. Count praise the Lord. Count amen. Up. Amen. And we have to know, praise God, that, and, I, and, and, and this is just me, this is Pastor Brown, chapter 3 and verse 5. I think one of the worst things you can do is waste people's time. Mm. Amen. Don't waste my time. <laughs> amen. <laughs> because you can never do what? Get it, Get it back. back. Praise God. So I strive personally not to try to waste anybody's time because I don't want to waste your time if you come and deal with me. Because sooner or later, guess what, guess what you're going to stop doing? You're going to stop dealing with me. Praise the Lord. But I want to, I want to be considerate knowing that, praise God, we live in a, and not, not that you're busy, but it shows that I have what? Respect for you. Uh -huh. Amen. Praise God. All right. He says, look, uh, I'll show you by faith, by my works. Verse 19, thou believest that there is what? One, one God. God. Thou doest what? Well. How many gods are there? One. 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 Ephesians 4 and 5 says what? There's one, one Lord, Lord, one faith, one, faith, one, faith, one, one baptism. baptism. There's one God, one faith. We, what is the faith? We have to have a heart and faith towards what? Towards God. Okay. All the faith you got is really one faith. Amen. 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 Believing on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be what? Shalt be saved. Amen. Praise God. One Lord, one faith, and one baptism. Praise God. We get baptized. Amen. There's one baptism of water and one baptism of fire. That's it. Amen. And then from there, we live one holy life. And I got one soul I got to be concerned about. Amen. 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 So, so, so he says, thou do as well. Even what? Even the devil believes and does what? True. 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 Even, even the devil believes that there's what? How many God? One. The devil don't believe there's three. I won't keep on. Let me keep on going. Come on. He believed it's one. One. I said one. Mm -hmm. And he was trying to find out who Jesus was right. when Jesus showed up. He said, "If thou be what, the son, the son of God. Son of God. That's right. Turn these stones. What? He was hoping Jesus would do what? Tell on himself. Tell right. Watch this. Too many of us get in trouble because we're telling ourselves to the devil. Come on. <laughs> we tell the devil exactly what we like. Come on. And next thing you know, what we like come right around the come right, right, right around the corner and, and knock knock us off by salvation. <laughs> Something, everything you don't need to open your mouth and, and talk about everything. Come on Amen. now. Some things, praise God, you got to do like Joseph. You got to ponder, and like Mary's mother, you, some things you just need to ponder mm. in your heart. Amen. Because only sometimes the only thing the devil knows about you is what you told him about. Come on, come on. Jesus did not tell him who he was. Yeah. What did Jesus tell him? Jesus told him. Jesus pointed him to the word. That's what Jesus did. Praise God. Amen. And when the devil tries to come and tempt you, you put the word on. That's it. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Even, even they believe. And, and, they, and they're, they're, they, they're, they're scared about it. They're trembling about that thing. Because they understand it was God that put them out. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And that they found out that Jesus was God in an earth suit. Hey, come on. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> they found out that, that Jesus was just God in his, in his, in his, in his, in, you know and, and when we go to outer earth go to outer space we have to put on what a, a space suit don't we we got to put on a space suit so we can deal with the elements outer space right Amen. the devil found out that he thought Jesus was just another man but he, but he found out after the cross that Jesus was God robed in flesh Come on. messed him up but the Bible says that if the devil knew who he was, he would have never allowed, he would have fought his best not to get him, not let him be crucified. That's right. Amen. So uh, you got to know who you are. Who are you? You are the righteousness of God. Amen. In Christ Jesus. You are the head and not the tail. <laughs> you are the lender not the and not the borrower. Beloved, right now you are a son of God. Amen. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Amen. You are a royal priesthood. <laughs> you are a holy nation. You are a peculiar people. You are a chosen, Lord have mercy. 
You have been a chosen, you've been chosen, you are a chosen generation. Amen. Lord have mercy. That's who I am in God. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm all that stuff. Amen. Praise God. I'm all that. But above all things, you know what I am? I'm saved. I'm, 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 I'm striving to be sanctified. Come on. I'm Holy Ghost filled. Yeah. Come on. And I'm five baptized. And I'm running. Why am I running? I know the Bible people say that I ain't running from the devil. But guess what? Why am I running? Running means, praise God, I'm putting forth, amen, an effort to stay, do this thing. That's what running. Running is not like walking. That's right. Running, you got to put forth some what? Some effort. Walking just, doo doo, you can just daisily walk. But if you're running, you got to put forth some effort. So when people say they're running for their lives, that means they're, you got to put forth some what, church? Some effort to be saved. You just don't walk down the street and accidentally slip, praise God, and on a crack and fall and catch the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Lord, I'm what? You, you, God intentionally has saved you. That's right. Amen. God has intentionally put his Holy Ghost down on the inside of you. And if, and if you do not have the Holy Ghost, God has, a Holy, has the Holy Ghost for you. Amen. On purpose. He is waiting for you to receive it from him. And manifest that you got it. Then live a holy, sanctified, yeah, productive life in God. Can we say amen? amen. Everybody ain't going to be a preacher. Everybody ain't going to be evangelist. Everybody ain't praise God. But guess what? Amen. You can be saved, sanctified, and love. Amen. Your enemies. Praise God and pray for the poor. You know, you know what we need today that we, don't, that we don't talk about a lot of? We need intercessors. Mm. We need non-big shots that will get in, get in the prayer closet and start praying. Remember in the book, it was, was, was the book of Isaiah, he said, where are the intercessors? Right. Where are the ones, where are the moaning women? Where are, where are the midwives at? Mm -hmm. Guess what? Nobody, that, that job's not a glamorous job. But guess what? It's glamorous to God. Amen. Because God said, what you do what? In secret, he going to do what? Reward, reward you how? Reward you openly. He going to reward you openly. That's right. Praise God. Hey man, that's why you ain't have to walk down to everybody with you know you just you just keep hey man doing what you do and pray God. God God knows how to open the door and, and, right. and tell on you. Amen. Because guess what? You are a showpiece to God. Come on. Lord have mercy. Oh Jesus, let me keep going. Look, verse 4, I got I clicked it on purpose. I gotta keep on going. He said, James 2 and 20, he said, But thou old man know, he says, But wilt thou know, O man, man, that faith without works is dead? Uh -uh. Ye see that how that by works a man is what? Justified and not by faith only. For as the body, and this is the point I want to get to. For as the body without the spirit is what dead. is dead, so faith without works is dead also. We skipped over a few verses there in the Book of James. Go back and read the chapter two in the Book of James. It's in the New Testament, towards the end of the New Testament, and see what the first bishop of the church pins a man and talks about when he's dealing with us in the church. Now remember James. Praise God by being, being, remember James is who? Jesus' brother. Right. All right? James is Jesus' brother. Praise God that he grew up with. Amen. James did not first believe that he was the, the Messiah, but later on, James was saved later. Right. And then James, because he, he, because just like Paul, God revelated what he needed, he becomes the first leader, amen, of the church at Jerusalem. That's right. Paul was not the leader of the church at Jerusalem. You know how many people know that thing that Paul led the church? That's another whole topic. Let me be quiet. Keep on moving. Paul was a missionary. Right. Paul was an evangelist. Paul, because of the work that he did, praise God, was an apostle. That's right. Amen? But Paul was not the presiding bishop. Why am I on? I don't know why I'm talking about that. Come on. <laughs> Paul submitted himself to the church. That's right. And, and, and every church that Paul opened, he tied it back to the church of Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. All right? Let's keep going. All right. I'm going to get through this. Praise God, because I got five minutes. Somebody say amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he says, look, verse 13. I'm in Galatians, back in Galatians. First of all, can we say amen for about faith? Amen. 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 That, that was, that, I tell you that this third chapter of the book of Galatians, if you get in it and look at it and read it, it's, it's going to profoundly change your life when it comes to, to trusting and living for God. Amen. That's why we're looking at it. That's why we spend so much time. He says, God, now look what he says. Christ has done what? Redeemed, Redeemed us. us. 
from, from the what? The curse of the law being made what? A curse, a curse for us. For it is written, curses everyone that hangeth on a tree. That what? Why? That the blessing of Abraham might, might come on who? The Gentiles. The Gentiles through Jesus Christ. And th that we might receive the promise of the Spirit, where? Through faith. Through faith. So here, Paul is letting them know. Now remember, Paul was a Pharisee, was he not? Yes, he was. Fair, that means that Paul knew the Old Testament, did he not? Yes, he did. So Paul, praise God, starts off, he says, Christ has done what? He has, he has set us free from what? The curse of the law. What, what, is, what is the curse of the law? Death. Death. Praise God. And, made, and he was made a curse for us because he did what? He hung where? On the tree. Did not God hang on a tree? Yes, he did. He hung on a tree. Praise God. And as he hung on a tree, God placed everything on who? On Christ. That's why the Bible says that he became a curse for us. Can we say amen? Amen. amen. All right. So uh, I want to try to find that there. Let's turn, turn to the book of Deuteronomy real quick. Because you say, where did Paul get this thing says, cursed is every man that hangeth on a tree? Go to Deuteronomy chapter 21. I don't have it on the slide, but we're going to read 21 and 23. In the law of God, in the book of Deuteronomy, remember the book of Deuteronomy, was it the first law or the second law? The book of Deuteronomy is the time that the law was read, read again to the ones who were born in the wilderness. Alright? Remember before they took the, went to the promised land, as they were going to the promised land, God wrote, read the law to those again. Amen. That's where we get the book of Deuteronomy. Alright? It's the same law, but, he, but everybody that he gave to at Mount Sinai is now what? Dead. They're dead. Mm -hmm. So God had to do what? Give it to the, to the children again. In verse 21, and, 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 and I mean chapter 21 and verse 23, it says, his body shall not remain all night upon the tree. But thou shalt in any wise bury him that day. For he that is hanged that is hanged is accursed of God. Y'all see that? I see it. That thy land may not be not defiled, which the Lord thy God giveth thee for what? Inheritance. For an inheritance. So here he tells the children as they go into the land those who are hung on a tree. He says, curses everyone that's hung on a tree, right? Mm -hmm. He said, but guess what? Don't let them hang on a tree. Do what with them? Bury them at night. Did not, was not Jesus buried that night? Yes, he was. Right. Did, was he cursed? He was. The curse was placed on him, but the curse was put on him, and then Jesus was what? The curse went with Jesus. Amen. All right? Jesus took the curse to the grave. Amen. And left the curse there, and he gets up. Mm -hmm. So he takes the curse, cursed on us, curse of, of death, Sin, disobedience, sacrifice it at the cross. God puts it on him, on that body. That body is buried. The curse, so that, what it says, that the land may be what? Not defiled. So when Jesus was buried, this is important for Jesus being buried. Because when he was buried, that curse was buried with it. Amen. That's why Jesus said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Old things are what? Passed Pass away. away. Behold, all things are what? Become new. Become new. Romans chapter 6 says, praise God. Amen. Uh, if we're buried with him in baptism, we therefore rise where? In, in new, what? Newness the of newness of life. of life. When I go down in this water, come on. the curse of sin stays in that water. Amen. Amen. And I come up and, oh, come on, somebody. And I rise in the newness of life. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I never used, they used to say this. Oh, my time is up. They used to say there's a whole lot of dead men in there. Y'all need to change that water over the dead men in there. I couldn't understand what they were talking about. But I know what they're talking about now. Amen. They're talking about when you take somebody in that pool and put that water in there, praise God. Amen. All them men, praise God, all that stuff, all those curses, all that stuff is right there. Come on. Because they rise in the news of life by faith. They don't, you, when you go down to Jesus' name, you don't pick that stuff back up with you. Amen. You leave, you leave it right there. Because baptism is what identifies you with Jesus' death. Amen. See, you got to be identified with his death, burial. his burial, <laughs> and his resurrection. Oh, See, everybody just wants the resurrection. Right. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Resurrection means you got life, right? Mm -hmm. 
But before you get to the resurrection, I'm going to close on this. I'm, I'm done, D. Before you get to the resurrection, before Jesus got to the resurrection, what had to happen? He was, he was persecuted. Lord have mercy. He was what? Crucified. Yeah. He had to do what? He had to die. die. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Then he was what? Buried. Yeah. I'm, I'm not, I hope I ain't speaking rocket science to nobody. Come on, go ahead. Right? Go ahead. And then he did what? He what? Rose to what? Yeah. The new what? Guess what, church? Guess what? You're going to be persecuted for his name's sake. That's right. Praise the Lord. It's coming if it ain't come already. Amen. <laughs> then, guess what? You got to die to yourself. That's right. Self got to die. And then you know what you do with yourself? All that stuff needs to be what? Buried. Buried. All, and guess what? That's what that does. That's what that water does. So when you say, I want to be baptized, oh, come on, somebody. You don't want to be baptized, you I get to bury all that, all that old man stuff. Right. Come on, somebody. Amen. We don't go dig it back up. Yeah. Only time anybody know about it is if you bring it back up. That's right. But once you go in that water, you leave that stuff right there. Buried, it's covered, it's done. Mm -hmm. Then guess what? You rise and what? Newness. You come back up, don't you? Yeah, sure in the newness of life, pray God. And then God has promised to give you what? His Holy spirit. God. That's right. But church, you got to go through the process. And guess what? Even after you get the Holy Ghost, you're going to be persecuted. That's right. Amen. And as you live for Christ, this is going to happen. Amen. People are going to talk about you. Amen. You're going to have to make sacrifices for God. Yes. And guess what? You're going to find out that even though you've been saved for one year, five years, ten years, twenty years, there's still some stuff that needs to go in the grave. Amen. 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 You need to bury some stuff. Some stuff you, God didn't deal with you until you were 20, saved twenty years because God knew if he dealt with you when he first got saved, you wouldn't be saved today. Come on. Some things God has to give you faith for to deal with in your life. Amen. Before you even encounter them. My time is up. Curses everyone that hangs on a tree. Why? Did everybody see that colon? Is that a colon? Is that what that is? Mm -hmm. That's right there. Y'all see that? Yeah. Oh, y'all see that? Mm -hmm. That means that this statement directly connects to this statement. That's called punctuation. Anybody know what punctuation is? Punctuation tells us how literary, how, how literature runs together to form a complete thought. This right here is called a colon. A colon says that this first statement, I'm over five minutes deep. This first statement is connected to the second statement. So it tells me he redeemed us from the curse of the law. Everyone hangs on a tree. Why? Why? That the blessing of Abraham might come on who? We're going to start. We're going we're gonna to pick up right there next week. Can we say amen? amen. I'm blessed. The Bible says I'm blessed. Doesn't, look, if, if, look, I want you to hold on to this till next week. All through the 4th of July weekend, I don't care what anybody calls you. I don't care what anybody says about you. You let them know you blessed. Amen. That the blessing of Abraham might do what? Come upon who? Me. Gentile. The Gentile. Who's the Gentile? Me. Me. Through who? Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I'm going to stop right there. So, so the thought for this whole weekend is that I'm what? Blessed. Blessed. Y'all don't sound like y'all blessed. Let's try it again. The, for the thought for the whole weekend is what? Blessed. Blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Mm. Praise God. Amen. Text me. How you doing? I'm blessed. Amen. How is early in the morning getting a cup of coffee? I'm blessed. Mm. Somebody better receive this. Come on. Amen. Man. They fight down there in the streets and, and run. guess what? I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Somebody say Amen. amen. They treated me wrong in my job. But guess what? I'm still what? Blessed. I'm blessed. Because God is still totally where? In charge. Amen. Amen. So during this time as, as the country goes through this holiday week and we get back next week, amen, the words on your lip is let everybody know you're what? Blessed. You're blessed. Come on, clap your hands. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. praise God. We thank God for his grace and his mercy. Amen. I, I, I thank you for my bonus. Seven minutes, Deacon Cunningham. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. But I want to stick this up. We're going to pick up right here on verse 14 next week. Amen? Amen. 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 Talking about the blessings of God. May God bless you and keep you is our prayer. And I hope someone said to encourage you. If you don't have the Holy Ghost, God wants you to have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And that with evidence of speaking, speaking in another them. language as Amen. God has given you the power to do. That's what the word utterance means. That means God's given me a power. 
that means that the Holy Ghost is not me just, not something that I do. Amen. See, when I confess my mouth and believe in my heart, that's something I'm doing. Yeah. But what God does is that God speaks through me, through the power, through his, through his anointed power, and he does something that I don't have the ability to do by myself. Yeah. Amen. That's, the, that's what God bears witness to himself, that you have received his spirit. Now what happens is, praise God, once I get that, then God give, begins to revelate things to me. And then that's why I got to get into the word of God, because God and his word are, are how many? One. One. So I got to get in his word, and God begins to teach his nature and his ways, praise God, and that comes through, amen, me receiving the Holy Ghost. Because spirit, the Bible is a spiritual book. Amen. And the Bible says that spirit deserves spirit. So that means that I got to have the spirit of God working and living in my life if I'm going to properly receive what God has said through that Bible. Amen? Amen? It all works together, church. And I'm going to say something else. If you have not received and experienced the Holy Ghost, you're missing quite an experience. Amen. Amen. Amen? Amen? Praise God. I will not give it back for nothing. So be encouraged today. We're going to pray. Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord Father, for the word we heard on tonight. We thank you, Lord Father, that you will preach this gospel, send somebody to tell us, help build our faith, and then, Lord, we respond to the faith that you put out that we might receive your blessings of God. Lord, we ask, Lord, that you bless those understand our voice. Keep them safe till we come back together again. Oh, God, we ask, Lord, that your grace and mercy be upon them in Jesus' name. God, let them know, God, that they're not cursed, but they're blessed in yes, Jesus Lord. Christ. Hallelujah. And, Lord, we just ask that you keep them till we come back together again. Let your anointing fall. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. Amen. Hallelujah. If you want to... Continue to support the church. Feel free, amen, to go to our website. But we thank God for you. In Jesus' name, we hopefully to see you back again, amen, the next time we have a broadcast. Amen. God bless. Amen.